My tribute to JMAC. Hi, this is Coach Jim Jatson. As some of you may know, because it's been on social media and spread somewhat around our country and even the world, my man JMAC got in a pretty serious accident where he ran into a car on his bike and he actually went to the hospital and he had numerous injuries, including many broken ribs, a punctured lung and a broken clavicle and a fractured cheekbone. Well, Jason was in ICU for a couple days, but then he got out and it looks like he was making progress, but he had a setback. They found that one of the ribs was floating into his lung and they had to do emergency surgery. He was back in ICU, but he came through it. And I wanna share with you that he is now home and I actually had lunch with him last week. So we're really excited to have him back. In this video, I want to share some of the qualities that I admire about Jason and how I learned so much in working with him for many years. In this video, I felt it was necessary to do a tribute to J-Mac and tell you about some of his characteristics and give you some things that I learned from him over the years. Number one is perseverance. To me, Jason is the essence of the example of perseverance. He was the only person in all my years of coaching to try out for the team for three straight years and didn't make it. But in year three, his senior year as the team manager, his perseverance and loyalty to the program led me to consider letting him suit up for a game. All his hard work and dedication allowed that magical night of February 15th 2006 to happen. You want perseverance? Learn from J-Mac. He's got it. Number two is his servant step to others. He was a team guy first. Jason always seeks to help others first. Whether it's in coaching or everyday life, he always seeks to put others first. Even during his high school years as the basketball team manager, he would volunteer his time to host workout with players, even outside of normal practices. He was always giving more than receiving. The third characteristic is Jason cares. He cares deeply for the people around him. If you are in his circle, inner circle, he reaches out to you consistently to check in and see how he can support you. He's always looking to help you and add value to. The next key is team first. My favorite example of anyone showing their selfishness is how Jason speaks of his 2006 Greece Athena boys basketball season. He experienced a magical night that changed his life forever. And yet, his favorite part about that season was that we won our first Section 5 title. And that's what he shares to people when they ask him what was the best thing about his senior season. Incredible. So take these ideas that I share and think about how you can implement them in your life to have more success and be a giver rather than a taker.